hello guys welcome to another video and in this video i'm going to show you how to fix booting on successful unable to connect to ssh so this error occurs when you're trying to boot your device into ssh mode but you are using a very bad driver so without further ado let's start the tutorial so first of all make sure that your device is connected in recovery mode it helps it helps when you're trying to pwn your device with gaster so put your device into recovery mode then copy your ECID click on the ECID do not copy from 302's copy from the two by clicking on it it should copy then you click on register here that should take you to the website where you're going to register your device so after you've registered your device just click on start it should take you to the DFU helper so this is going to help you put your device into DFU mode but if you know how to put your device into DFU mode, you can do it. And then when you click on start here, it will take you directly to the jailbreak page. So since my device is in recovery, I am now in the DFU helper. Just click on start and then follow the on-screen instructions to put your device into DFU mode. Wait till you hear a sound of a driver change or a device connected then you know that your device is now in DFU mode so device entered DFU mode now let's click on next so this part this is two in one parts okay so the first part would pull your device with gaster and then the second one will put your device into a SSH mode so to start here if you've already pulled your device with gaster if you've done that step here that, that step then click on fix drivers before you click on your bed if you have not if you've not done that process if your device is not in phone dfu mode then you you click on jailbreak device click on it and wait for a couple of minutes it's going to take a lot of time to put your device into phone dfu mode but do not worry when you see something like this it's it doesn't mean that broke from this is stuck it's it's processing it's installing drivers and then putting your device into phone dfu mode do not expect it to work the first time yes it's perfectly fine gaster does not work really well on windows it works for some some devices and doesn't work for some devices personally it takes a lot of attempts to put my device into phone dfu mode with gaster so if you have another method to put your device into phone dfu mode you can do it but not here do not use ip wonder to put your device into the DFU mode it will not work only gaster checkmates and other other tools you can use that so once you once it moves it means it's starting to put your device into the DFU mode so that is it and after a few after a few driver changes it will it will finish up and then install the correct driver which you need to boot your device into SSH mode so let's wait for it to install the correct drivers for us so now it has finished exploiting our device it should move on to the next step and once again when you see something like this program this is not stuck just leave it to do its work and do not click anything once it is moving or once it's doing it, its thing just leave it like this and let it do its job okay so post exploitation cleanups this is where it installs the correct driver that you need when you're booting into ssh mode so it will take a while yes it will take a while it will take a very long time yeah about a minute but it's worth it Okay, so I'm not going to cut any part of this video. I want you to see it for yourself how to do everything. So I'm not going to cut anything from this video. And you'll see that when we start booting the device, we'll get, we are going to get booting error. This is because we have a very bad driver. But with the new updates for broke RAM disk, it's very, very easy to fix this. 
and I'm going to show you how to do that. And guys, watch to the end of the video. I have a big announcement for you, for you, for you people. Yeah, I have a big announcement. So we should finish up the driver installation right now in a few seconds. Yes, and then it's done. Device exploited successfully. If you do not get this, it means Gaster did not work on your machine or your device. So you should try again, or you should you should use another tool that can put your device into con DFU mode. That is the checkmate or the eclipser and whatever that you can use to put your device into con DFU mode. And that will also work perfectly with program this. But do not use use IP Wonder. Yes, do not use that. It's not going to work. So before it starts, make sure that your device, you've already downloaded the boot chain for your device. You see that the, 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 it has started, but it's, it's, it's not doing anything. We should hear a driver chain sound, but we are not hearing this driver chain sound. So to fix this, if we do not fix this and then we leave it like this, we are going to get booting unsuccessful. So all you have to do is that you have to unplug your device. And wait for program this to say that no device has been detected. Yeah, wait, program this. Program this will say that no device was detected. Once you, once you see this error message, just put your device back inside, and then click on OK. Then you break again. But before you do the jailbreak, make sure that you've already downloaded the boot chain for your device. And make sure that if your device is on iOS 16, check it in the options. And then if your device is on iOS 15, just leave it like that. So it will start again. And then <clears throat> it will start booting the device. Once it starts sending the IBSS, you see that there's a driver chain here. You hear the sound. You should hear that sound whenever there, there's... When, whenever it's sending IBSS, IBEC, and uh, IBEC and stuff. So if you don't hear th that sound, just unplug your device, wait for that and plug it in. So now it will be flashing random colors. You should see that random colors on your device. Okay, so now after flashing three random colors, it, your, your device should show a white screen. It is perfectly normal. There's nothing wrong about that. You should see that screen. However, even if you see that screen, you you, sh you can still get booting unsuccessful. Yes, it can happen. You can still get booting unsuccessful. So let's wait. Yes, we should not get booting successful here. We should get booting unsuccessful. Yes, and we are getting errors that we could not connect to SSH. It should pop up in a second. couldn't connect to SSH so all you have to do the, the 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 perfect thing to do is that you have to click on fix drivers that is it you click on fix drivers and it will fix the drivers you click on your brake again and then you're done it's going to take a while yes it's going to take some time So 
when you get booting on successful there's no need to put your device back into point dfu mode and start the jailbreak again mm -hmm. just click on finish drivers and then after it is done click on the jailbreak device the uh, button again and then it will start the jailbreak again a few seconds and it should start it should start installing the drivers and finishing up the driver installation okay so as as the paid instructions okay you have to unplug your device plug it in again okay once you plug the device in then click ok and click on the jailbreak button again so it's going to continue from where it's left off you should still see the flashing of random colors on the screen yes and then if you turn to white again that is also perfectly normal Okay, so it's starting the jailbreak. Yes, it's it's flashing random colors right now. Okay, so now we should get booting successful. Yes, once you hear that last driver change sound, it means that your device has been connected to SSH. And then boom, that is it. We have successfully connected to SSH. And now we can back up our device or activate our device depending on the process or the path that we've got into. So I'll do a quick backup for us to see. I'll delete my backup file from here so that I can back up yeah so now okay then click on next then now I have to back up my activation file so we since we've connected to SSH you can click on backup here and then you can see at the background it's doing this thing yes please please and please again do not click on this button until you see that backup was successful stop clicking this button even if it shows or even if it pops up again do not click on it you see it has come but do not click on it just leave it yes once you see this then it means that your backup was successful and then all you can do is that you can go and check your backup that everything is inside everything is there you have you have to have three files here one two and three your iCloud info which contains the Apple 
ID and then the number and then the name that was registered on the phone on the phone's Apple account yes so and then you should have all uh, we, are, we should have some of these files here but the most important file is the ic-info.sig all these files are not important the only important file is the ic-info.sig so once you have that you're good to go so now if you if the backup was successful you can erase your device or you can reboot it so that is it and then back to the announcements um program disk is working on ios checking devices okay so checking devices by password signal for absolutely free meid and gsm with signal for absolutely free and then i will plead with you guys to donate to support program this our paypal account has been suspended for no reason yeah we we, we we tried a lot and we couldn't get it back so if you want to donate you can dm me on telegram or whatsapp and then your your donation will be much appreciated so in the next updates we will be we will be adding a button here that will show um, gratitude and and that we will show gratitude to every person that have donated to support program this if you have donated 15 dollars or more to support program this you will have your name as the sole supporters of and contributors of program this thank you see you in another video bye bye